Don't hate me, but I figured out how to make a chocolate cake at home that tastes like a $30 or $40 cake you'd get from a fancy gourmet bakery. This one is made in a loaf pan, which makes it really easy and also means that it's the perfect size to enjoy for a brunch or to have as a dessert. It'll last a few days for my family, but it's not going to last a week and get old and stale. You know what I mean? Like a loaf cake is a perfect size. First, I'm going to walk you through how to make the chocolate loaf cake base, which is delicious on its own. And then I'm going to show you how to make a super yummy strawberry buttercream frosting. That's the perfect match. In a bowl, start with the dry ingredients, the cocoa powder, flour, baking powder, and salt. Mix that all together in a bowl, set it aside. Then in a separate bowl, you're going to whisk together eggs and sugar. Then it's time to pour in some cooled melted butter, milk, and vanilla extract. Whisk that all until combined. Grab those wet ingredients and pour it over the flour mixture slowly. Whisk as you go. Wipe down the sides of the bowl with a spatula. And lastly, stir in some hot water and whisk that all together for 30 seconds. At this point, you are ready to transfer all of this to a loaf pan. And what I like to do for the loaf pan is to put a little butter under some parchment paper so it sticks in place and then put parchment paper on top and then pour in the chocolate cake batter. This is perfect to me, prevents the parchment paper from moving and then it is ready to pop right into the oven. Bake the chocolate loaf cake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 50 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in a few places comes out clean. Rest it in the pan until room temperature, which I know is super hard to do because it's going to look phenomenal, but you need this time to make the frosting and you can't frost the cake until it is cool. Crush up those free dried strawberries however you like. I used a rolling pin to smash the pieces into a fine powder. You could use a food processor if you wanted, but who feels like cleaning that after? In a large bowl, use a hand mixer or a KitchenAid mixer to blend together unsalted butter with a cup of powdered sugar, vanilla extract, and salt. Once all of that is combined, you can go ahead and scrape down the sides of the bowl and slowly add in the rest of the powdered sugar and the strawberry powder and stop to scrape a few times along the way so it's all combined and this is the best part because it looks phenomenal it tastes phenomenal this strawberry frosting you absolutely have to make with this cake so good the combination is unbeatable the strawberry is like kind of tangy i need you to try it so all you do then is slowly add some milk a tablespoon at a time until the frosting is done to your liking you may or may not use all the milk. And then once your cake is cooled, you can remove it from the pan and add the frosting to the cooled chocolate loaf cake. I have so many other loaf cake recipes, banana breads. I have even mini loaf cake recipes waiting for you on Sip Bite Go. You can print this all at sipbitego.com. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers.